Letitia, Martina, um, lovely to have you with us and congratulations on the award. Just the one season together, but quite an impressive one. If you had to pick a highlight from any of it, which would it be, Martina? Oh, wow, there were so many and sometimes it's actually even fun, the, the non-court uh, highlights that we had. Uh, for example, going for a swim in Mallorca before a match, or yes. <laughs> that usually is not the typical day of how, how you do things, but uh, you know, also the things that we did off court, um, you know, like also just having fun, uh, going shopping, uh, spending time together, and uh, of course that comes together uh, with the success on the court, that uh, probably the highlight definitely was uh, winning the US Open. I think without dropping a set as well, how, how special was that to sort of cap the season, Letitia? I mean, for me, that's the highlight of uh, my career, and it still is. And uh, I mean, to accomplish uh, the whole season like that, it's, it's not easy. And uh, I know how much hard work that we paid off. And uh, and I think, uh, you know, to have a, a great partner next to me to uh, accomplish that and to have, uh, to, to have us here tonight, it's uh, such a pleasure. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, I think that, that will be a very, very nice uh, memory of, uh, of us. And that answered my next question, really. I was going to ask how, how important is it for you to have someone as experienced as Martina alongside you? Well, that's super important. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I mean, at the beginning, she's kind of like uh, guiding me to get into uh, the game, you know, because I think she's kind of a player who can inspire her partner to be the the best version of herself so I think that's what she did to me she did the magic to me so uh, <laughs> that's how uh, we can play uh, so well together and uh, having fun with each other oh, thank you that's uh, pretty <laughs> much a very nice word so no but she was already a very great uh, opponent when I had to face her so I just I knew the strength and uh, weaknesses and uh, try to make that better and uh, and adjust our games to each other and I think um, that proved uh, that we were the best team out there and uh, were able to to win but actually she was the one to teach me how to win a tournament again <laughs> so she had almost more confidence when we started playing together and then it just carried over in uh, winning uh, nine titles and, and a slam and um, becoming number one again uh, to finish my career like that with Leticia was definitely the cherry on top of the cake mm, yeah well quite a way to go out do you miss it now does that is it sort of really difficult being back in Paris during Roland Garros do you sort of itching to get back out on court it's kind of cool it's like my highlight of the season yeah. <laughs> to come here and to spend the day with and then a night and dinner uh, with Leticia and um, you know it, it's pretty cool I don't know I was really looking forward to it I think it's me it. who missed that more <laughs> <laughs> I, I miss that us. when she's on court with me so <laughs> And presumably off court as well, as yeah. you were saying. Yeah. As you were saying, um, Martina, I think you've um, won these awards either in singles or doubles five times, maybe in the past, and this is now your sixth. Um, does this one feel any different at this stage in your career to to in the past? Yes, it definitely does because I feel like this is definitely the last one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there is no comeback to this and. Uh, Previously, as a junior, as a singles and doubles player, it was definitely different. But right now, I feel like, yeah, that that's the end, unfortunately. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm so happy to be uh, here again uh, and getting this award and, and, and the honor. And, uh, yeah, it's just an amazing feeling. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the dinner tonight. And uh, hopefully for Leticia, there will be more <laughs> to come. And, uh, you know, like I, I definitely miss the time on court with her and uh, it's nice to be back. So uh, I'll go and watch and support. <laughs> and last question, you mentioned it there. There might be many more for you. I think you're still still world number one at the moment. So um, how are you using that momentum generated from your successful season together to, to carry on? Yeah, I mean, uh, last year, last season, I have learned a lot. I have experienced a lot, many things on court and off court. And I think uh, the last season made me a better player. And I know that this year I'm not doing as great as last year, but I think uh, it will pay off. I think all the matches that I play this year, it's become uh, experience again. And then uh, I think when the time comes, I'll be ready.